A little bit of challenge mode terror with the boys. Good luck, first kill. Ooh, a sack of riches. 4 minute 57. Not bad for challenge mode, damn. Alright, good luck. Next kill as soon as that pillar dies. But it would be dead now. Okay, there we go. Good luck. Any rares? Oh, Crest for Toy, not bad. Alright, next. Alright, next kill, good luck. Number three. Oh, four minutes forty though, that's pretty impressive. Alright, and here comes the next kill. First rare of the day, please. Oh, nothing. Good luck, another one. Took a second there. Oh, but nothing again. Alright, final kill of tonight. One more for the rare drop. Oh, imbued stone, I mean, it's something. Oh, it was a fun little run. Maybe we can do more tomorrow. Alright, over time I've been passively stacking up divine shots and we should have quite a few boss points. Uh, I want to make some chaos luck tokens. I need 1300, so about 750 more, I think. Can I afford that? I cannot. Oh, damn. Okay, well, we can make about 600 Chaos Lux with that. Gonna kill a little bit of Orcaf, not my favorite, but I would love to get some Draconic pieces, because it's pretty good nowadays. Who would have thought? It's gonna take a second. Oh, well, there's a Skeletal Visage from Vorkaf. An interesting drop. Oh, there's a Dragon Bone Necklace on the floor. Not the Draconic we're hoping for, but still a pretty nice item to get. If we can end up farming as... Uh, not zealots, well, go for zealot eyes, uh, imbuing crystals, if we can farm those, just get enough to spare a few, that might be a thing. Well, because of that necklace, we can actually roll a zealot real quick. I actually don't think that's the best idea, and I actually cut it off because I was planning to remove the clip entirely, but then I realized... I had more than just that bit recorded in it, so I can't. But no, not gonna do that. I need to save that crystal for if we get 15 pendants. Stupid. I really want to go ahead and do a bit of rune coin exchanges, and we are completely out of glorious gems. And it seems like the trading post is completely out of bonds. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? Every single bond has been bought up in recent times? You're kidding me. Where are the bonds? Damn. Oh, I just got a dragon crossbow. Finally, we got the fork F log. Hey! Dragon crossbow doesn't announce, so it took me a second to even notice it. That is cool. Another green log completed. Four heads. <laughs> that is pretty nice. Eight necklaces. I'm just trying to get some damn draconic though. It's uh, being very rare for how much Lux I'm using, but we'll gladly take a log. Four untradeable M tickets, what do we get? Any Pandora boxes? Ooh, regular price key, that is not too bad. Alright, I'm just trying to get a few mystery chests, because Vorkav is not on my side, sadly. Uh, I need Divine Shots, of course. I think I'm just gonna do the price key as well. Eh, fuck it. Ain't nobody want a regular ass price key. Ew. Give me all the M chests. Don't have that many divine shots, sadly, but at least we get very lucky on the enchantments, eh? Six chesties. Any draconicers? Probably not. Oh, black party yet, though. That's pretty good for a non key one. Damn. Me and two more gut swords. And <clears throat> we'll take the blade for ancient gut swords. Next. Mystic sand legs. Actually getting quite lucky on the rares, except it's not the right one, I just want Draconic. But uh, can't expect much honestly, opening M chests for a specific item is uh, money wasted generally speaking. Your odds of getting what you want are very fucking low, but uh, felt like trying it. Ah, well, it's a brand new day, decided to start off with a bit more Vorkaf and we get another necklace at 508kc. I guess we're just gonna passively stack those up and it would be fun if you know, we start doing more terror as a team. Um, stack up imbue stones, get crystals, and then start rolling a whole bunch of zealots just for rune diamonds. I feel like that would be a fun idea. See how lucky we can get, you know? And we get a Vorkaf pet. Huh, that's not exactly what I wanted to see, but sure. Oh, this might be interesting as well on top of that. Uh, Ghost and Goba have both been doing some Vorkaf last night as well. 
Goba ended up seeing a doubled 4k head, which is a very, you know, decent drop, pretty valuable. And Ghost also saw some more Dragon Bone necklaces. We are not getting too lucky on the Draco pieces, but hopefully they just start pouring in at some point. Thai has had two Draco pieces and they were both for the play body. At least if we get more play body pieces at this point, we can start sharding them down probably. You know, go for two full Draco sets and then with a Skimitar, maybe get a second one even at some point. Luckily we have the Dragon Skimitar ore, that saves a lot of time. Uh, but maybe if we get the Hosta as well or something, I don't know. We can see when we get there, but for now getting just a few Draco sets is uh, the main goal, I would say. And at least one Skimmy since we have it. Alright, just quickly gonna go ahead and buy a Wonder Reroll Scroll for 500 M shots. Just to see if we can get slightly better tasks, maybe score a few extra points. We need a bunch of things, but we kind of settled on who's gonna get what as it is. I think I'm gonna just focus on going for the log now at this point. It, I mean, it's 10 mystery tickets, you get a nice return on that. And uh, why not? I can dedicate a specific pet to the brute. It's only useful on one-handed weapons, which instantly makes it more niche because the best weapons in the game are all two-handed. For the most part at least, but generally speaking. Uh, I just noticed it re-rolled already, I didn't know it would instantly tell me the tasks. 5 M chests should be doable, mud runes doable, used serpentine helm though, bit more rough. Alright, let's see if we can get 3 mystery chests in the amount of attempts we have. Gonna be a rough one. Oh, failed the first two, how wonderful. 1, 2, get the next one. Okay, great. Alright, oh it was actually a hard step, not even a medium. Makes sense. Or the real staffs. Damn, at that point I would kind of want to do the fuse up. Currently Sunday though, this shit resetting tomorrow. Do we have the real staffs is the big question. At least have one, I don't know which one is degraded. I got one. Let's check the vault. Oh, well, luckily we have it, so that is all the hard steps done. That means it's just the elite left over. Now I have two options. See if it's possible to make the fuse syrup which is a big rip on the money, or re-roll it again using Soul Hunter points, and then I might have a chance to get a better task. It might also fuck me even harder. That's the tough part. Yeah, we are very far off from making that helm, so I think we're gonna have to go for another re-roll. Fuck doing worms. Crawling hands, ugh. My last elite step is Chaos Elemental in the Wildy as well. I don't wanna do that. My medium, I think, is Barrows, though, or my hard one, whatever it may be. One of them is Barrows, and Barrows is pretty damn doable, so let's gear up and knock some out of the way. Well then, I just recorded multiple clips with the screen on the wrong thing, so it's just a login screen instead of what happened. I got my 1000 points, got a reroll, and I got a wonderful Sunspit task. So, you know, I was like, let's, let's do that, but no. It's a regular Sunspear task. I have a Dark Sunspear, as probably 99% of Sunspear owners do. Because if you get a Sunspear, the logical thing is to upgrade it to the Dark version. If you have a goddamn Scutizo horn or whatever, claw, whatever it's called. But that doesn't count. It's not a regular. It's a, what is that task, bro? Sunspear has a sink. It's called turning it into a Dark Sunspear. That sinks a regular Sunspear out the game. Those things must be so fucking rare, because the minute someone gets it and takes it off island, you either sell it to, well, not one of the few people that get this at a, as, as a task, or it's gonna get bought and turned into a Dark Sun Spear. I mean, I don't object the fact that the task exists, but I do object the fact that I can't, you know, turn in a Dark Sun Spear as a regular one, or the ability to make it into a normal one again, or whatever, because this feels a little unfair, especially for an Iron Man, but even as a main it's a stupid task. Like, Sun Spears don't stay in the game for long, they get turned into Dark Ones, or Synced, or whatever the fuck. But people don't generally have regular Sun Spears laying around. And you would have to be lucky enough that someone is camping Rosny and gets one to sell, if even, because it would have to be a non-Iron Man who's trying to get one for their account. As a regular Sun Spear, buy it in that particular week where you get it as an Elite. It's not a good task. Either make Dark Sun Spears, you know, the ability to clean them off or separate them or whatever. Or 
allow the Dark Sun Spear to just be traded in as a Sun Spear or get rid of the task. Just Dark Sun Spear was already an Elite Wonder. That's why I kept my Dark Sun Spear. I don't think this is entirely fair. That has to be a new task. Never seen that before in my life. All right, boys, I can't be too loud because girlfriend is already in bed, but we do have a bit of a special enchant we can do at this point. Um, Ghost and Skeleton now have acquired the points to buy the new blessings, so uh, we were originally going to do this earlier, but then Skeleton joined, yada yada. But we're going to roll a artillery. Wow, that came up wrong. Artillery blessing, which is the combinational one, if I'm not mistaken, of the Berserker and Armaments. So it combines the two of them, which will make special attacks even stronger. And you don't need to switch between them. Saves an imp storage spot really nice, but best in slot at the end of the day. 20% chance? I don't know, man. I think if I spoon this one, I will be happier than if I had gotten the Gilded Fairy. I'm not gonna lie. This feels like it weighs more because Wanderers take so long, but let's fucking go for it, boys. Can we get the one out of one? One of the most expensive items in the game. We cannot. And no dust trigger, unfortunately. Also, Goba has some tokens to get a little box. You know, pull armaments, make up for our losses. 1000 mystery shots, I guess. Wow. Just doing some VIP stuff, but uh, a Harbringer is spawning in 5 minutes. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Let's get ready to kill it. Alright, here we go, boys. Good luck. <gasps> oh, I got an Isle Horn. I actually got a drop. Well, I'll be damned. Not a good one, sadly. Uh, not much for anyone, but Nile Horn, that's a uh, pretty cool. Something from the Harbringer. Alright, quick little update clip, because, um, well, first of all, Ty managed to buy a new Armaments Blessing, for when we do a future attempt again, he still needed it for the log, so he decided to buy one of those. And on top of that, um, the boys have been doing some Corporal Beast on my account. I think Ty ended up getting it. Well, it being a doubled divine, but unfortunately, as you can see, it's not in my bank. Gonna assume it's in the vault. We have had 500 intrinsic shots for quite a while now, so I'm gonna assume that you guys know what that means. Grab a divine, grab 500 intrinsic shots from wherever they may be. We have 600 now at this point, damn. Juicy. I kind of hope that um, the intrinsic arcane will be used with the Elden as ward for an upgrade. I know it's a bit of a far-fetched one, because this is quite a lot grindier than just a normal Arcane Sigil, but I feel like that would allow for it to be like a really good best-in-slot shield, like proper best-in-slot, if they make it cost an intrinsic Arcane to upgrade it. I think that would be a solid idea, to be honest. But uh, that being said, let's make the... In Ooh, we need at least 90... Huh. Didn't know. Uh... <laughs> you need to be full prayer to do that, that's kind of silly. All right. There we go. Intrinsic Divine, thank you very much. The shield is now 5% stronger soaking and increased defensive stats. Here are the stats for those of you who want to see it. Quite some defensive ones, but less than the Spectral. But of course it has the soaking ability of a Divine, which is what makes it so good. That is our third Intrinsic Spirit Shield. Very, very nice. The only one that we are missing is the Arcane one. That is also why I made that suggestion just now, like why I want to bring that up. Definitely not the first one to come up with that idea though, but the Intrinsic Arcane is doo-doo. I don't know what else to tell you. It's shit, it, it's bad, it's not a good item. These three Spirit Shields all have uses. The Spectral is the most niche one at like Cerberus and maybe Hellhounds and Vault of War, but it has uses. Arcane ain't even best in slot, Siren Tone is better. Even the Book of Chaos gives more magic damage if you prefer just magic damage. You could argue it's a tanky magic shield, but who gives a shit? No one, no one needs tanky magic shield because it's not that tanky to begin with. If it had like a like half of a normal divine's effect or something, yeah, I would argue it has its uses, but it has no soaking as far as, far as my knowledge goes, and it's five percent magic damage. Anyway, enough ranting about that. That makes our third intrinsic shield. Very happy about that. I think they all look pretty damn good. Just nice to have the divine divine. So bright, I really do like that. But of course, spectral matches the gear the most. <laughs> Anyway, really nice. 